Um, my name is Nick Clark and I manage the planning policy and projects team at Wigan Council. The team has a wide range of responsibilities, including, for example, uh, we establish the vision for the long-term future of the borough and how much land is needed for housing, employment, transport and other activities. We also work in partnership with other people to deliver projects that will improve the environment. We also have a number of specialist officers that advise the council on things like design, trees and woodlands and climate change. Most people in my team are, are planning officers and have got a degree in planning. Many of those will have been to, to university full time, others will have studied part time while working. If you don't want to go to university there are other ways into planning uh, such as through apprenticeships, getting into the admin side of planning and working your way up. The council has a strong track record in supporting young people through apprenticeships and this may be a cheaper option for people than going to full time, to university full time. The reality is that most people that come into town planning have studied geography at school, particularly human geography where there are strong linkages. As well as geography, you also need to be good with numbers, you need to be a good communicator, and there are also linkages with a number of other subjects at school as well, um, such as economics, sociology, history. Planning is really about everyday life, so there are a lot of connections with what you do at school. There are good opportunities for career progression in planning. There are planners right up to director level in councils, and there are also about half of, of planners are employed in the private sector as consultants and there are good opportunities in the private sector too. Planning is about making a positive difference to people's lives, creating opportunities and making a difference. And I've really enjoyed my career so far in planning.